unboxing and startup of the latest Slide Tech Pro ESC from PureTech. The new Slide Tech Pro comes with a new hardware and firmware upgrade which gives it a more accurate feel. The new version now comes with a bigger box and included plugs for the motor and a manual for initial setup. Some of the noticeable upgrades are the new added fan and the new dustproof navigating switch for more precise control. The ESC now weighs about 6 grams heavier than the previous version due to the added fan. It comes with a 14-gauge silicone wire. Here you could see the previous trackball design and the new dustproof switch. The colored trims on the face is covered black. It also comes now with a single capacitor compared to the previous three. The bottom layer is made of plastic compared to the previous aluminum build. The sensor and receiver cables are still the same. Here's a run-through of the ESC interface. You will notice some of the options have added parameters. Most of the bug issues from the previous unit has been refined. I've already made some base adjustments to this unit, feel free to test them and tune it to your preference. I usually use 8 kHz for the frequency driver. But for now, I will experiment on the higher frequency to test for thermal results. Notice a trigger parameter is added to set the turbo activation independently. Previously there was an issue where the hall angle keeps shifting and unable to disable, now it can be controlled manually. Most of the general settings will be at default on your first startup, mine had the, the pre-run function on and the temperature protection off. Please set them according to your preference. I've made a custom curve for my throttle feel and mostly for low traction tracks, let me know in the comments below if you need the actual value to test it out. Here's some fan noise test and some revs to show the telemetry interface. There has been a great improvement so far in the temperature ranges, usually the temps could go up to 60 degrees on the previous ESC. Now it is stable at 32 to 37 degrees.
that's all for now, we'll be running some tests soon and share some of the modified setups, thanks for watching. Thank you.